Hi peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I am going to be doing another spare drills project with you. Um, I'm going to be showing you one way to use your spare drills to make a cute little cover minder um, with magnetic back. It's so super simple. Um, I have got myself a cabochon mold um, you can pick these up super cheaply um, from catering and craft stores one thing I will say is because we're going to be using UV resin which cures quickly with the help of a UV light um, it needs to be a clear or certainly a pale colored mold um, I've tried it with darker moulds and I have found that it doesn't cure very satisfactorily. So, um, I picked this big bottle up on Amazon. I started with much smaller bottles um, until I figured out what I wanted to do with it. So, let's get started. Um, I've just got this pad here just to protect my work surface in case I spill anything. So, we're going to go in and make... Um, one of these shapes. I think I will go with a heart this time. So I'm going to go for this largish heart shape. And the first thing I'm going to do is pop some of the resin into the mould. And in the same way as you would maybe line a baking mould or something, what we just want to do is encourage that resin all around the edge so that we are coating the inside. Um, what this will do is it will mean that we've got essentially a shell um, that we'll be making from the resin that we can then fill with our drills. So almost done. It's a little bit like if you've ever made chocolates um, or if you've ever seen an advert where they've got posh chocolatiers making chocolate. Right, so that is all coated and then we come in with our UV lamp and this is where we get to harden it. It doesn't take very long at all super super quick way of working um, you can if you have access to one you can use um, the UV lamps that are for gel nails um, I have one of those as well so if you've got if you want to put something to the side um, and have it curing whilst you're doing something else then that's great because they have a timer on them um, I'm just using a little UV torch here, which is a little LED torch. This one came with my Nerdy Crafter Smart Art Kit. Um, so shout out to Nerdy Crafter. Um, it's super convenient um, for stuff like this, where you know, I've just got a little bit that I need to do. I don't need to be spending hours and hours on this. So just see it will be warm to the touch um, because as resin cures it produces heat what we've got now in there which is in very difficult for you to see but there is the clear coating of resin inside here so now we're going to go in with our spare drills these are in fact my trash drills <laughs> from another project oh there's a row red one in there that I don't want. Let's get you out. So um, yeah so I'm hoping that these will work. So I'm just gonna tip them in. Oh, another little bit of tr trash there. I mean you can be as picky with what you're using as you like. Oh it's some wax. That's what it was. A little bit of wax. You can Uh, 
add as much as you want. I'm going to go in, I think, like that. Just get those ones off the edge. Tweezers really do come into their own here. One of the nice things about doing it this way um, is that you use less resin for each um, cover minder that you're making because the drills themselves take up a lot of the space. So, yeah, the problem with these drills was just that they had all stuck together um, and rather than spend time separating them, I figured that they would make a lovely inclusion. So, now we're gonna go in again with more resin on top. I like to start from the edges and work round, almost like icing a biscuit. So, all the way around the edge, encasing those sparkly, sparkly diamonds. And then swirling into the middle. I realise you can't see anything at this point, but I will show you in just a moment. Right. Now, the important thing at this point is to just let it sit for a bit um, away from UV light, so not near a window. <laughs> Because as you will see, I'll just move you in a bit. There we go. Um, there is a big old air bubble coming up to the surface, um, which I'm just gonna pop. And so if we had tried to cure that resin before that air bubble had risen up, we'd have ended up with a cover minder with a big empty void in the middle of it and we don't really want that. Um, you can, if you want, give it a little tap. It will just help any other bubbles rise to the surface. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And now we can go in again with another blast of the UV light. And as you hit it with the UV light, you will see um, a few more bubbles probably coming up to the surface, but they will be much, much smaller than that big one that we saw. Um, obviously this is a thicker layer of the resin than we started with, so it will take a little bit longer. Um, it is important to do this in a ventilated area. The um, resin will let off some fumes as as it's curing. Um, some resins are more stinky than others, um, but if you've ever walked past a nail bar, it's that kind of a smell, sort of a, a plasticky kind of smell, and it's not particularly good for you, so yeah. you might feel comfortable more comfortable wearing a mask but certainly um, just keep a window open make sure there's some air circulating right. okay once you're sure that the top is reasonably set what I do like to do is turn it over and Give it a little extra blast from the underside. It takes just a couple of minutes. Um, and you can always give it an extra blast once you've taken it out of its casing. Yeah, we're nearly there. So... I think we're probably done there. 
So at this point, ordinarily, I would let it cool for a bit and then I would fix on the magnet. Um, you can get, oh, sorry. You can get this very thin style of magnet is my preference, um, which is what I've used on here. Um, they're incredibly strong. Um, you can also get them in a slightly thicker style. They look more like sort of watch batteries. Um, they're fine. It's just my preference is for a, for a thin battery. Um, oh, my preference is for a thin magnet. So, yeah, ordinarily I would glue this on so that as soon as the glue was dry, I would be able to pop it out and use it. However, just so that I can show you the finished article, we're going to turn it around. Got terrible glare on there. So there you have it. You've got all enclosed. And of course you can do these in any colour that you want, in any shape that you can get a mould for. Super quick, um, once you've got moulds and a bit of resin, they're essentially free um, <laughs> because you're just using up your spares in a way that is really aesthetically pleasing. I mean, there's so many uses for these. You could make magnets for friends, even if they don't need cover minders. You could... Um, use some of these smaller molds and create earrings there's a lot that can be done um uv resin is a really versatile tool and as long as you're using it sensibly and carefully the world is your oyster so i hope you've enjoyed this little mini tutorial for your spare drills um if you've got any suggestions of things to do with spare drills, let me, down, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your ideas and get some inspiration. Um, so that is all from me for today. If you've enjoyed this content, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you in the next video. Stay crafty. Thank you.